everyone, this is Natalie here. So I went to the 2019 Math Prize for Girls competition, and I know many of you are interested in what the event is all about, so here's a video to give you a bit of an idea. So essentially, it is the largest math competition for girls in the world, and it gets out the top 300 girls based solely on their AMC 10 and AMC 12 scores. This is the 11th year of the competition, and for the past 9 years, it has been held at MIT. And they actually award $50,000 in prize money, and I believe first place gets $25,000, which is pretty crazy. So this is why you have girls coming from all over the country, from California, Texas, even Canada. So if you want to know more about their competition and on how to apply, you can check out their website. And it is actually really easy to apply, it takes less than two minutes. There isn't an essay, all you do is submit your name, who you are, and your score. So anyway, on to the main topic. It is a two and a half hour test, but the event actually lasts the entire weekend. So first of all, there's like an early registration on Saturday between two to three, and at 3 p.m. you can attend an MIT admissions info session. So this info session is different from some of the others I went to, because you don't just go through the standard admission, but you actually hear about what kind of person MIT is looking for, and what some of the fun, crazy activities they do on campus are. Like for example, one of the residence halls built a roller coaster for freshmen at some point. And there's also an underwater hockey team and a chocolate lab. Also, I love the idea that actually some residence halls you can keep cats, and how one person had a snake named Cat and tried to pass it off and say it was okay. So yeah, so after the info session, you can choose to attend the campus tour. We had a great tour guide who was really funny and energetic at the same time. Also, our tour guide showed us some of the hacks which are kind of like pranks that they have there on MIT. So for example, one year the students put a fake police car on top of the dome inside the status center. You'll walk away knowing so much more about every aspect of student life at MIT. So it's definitely something I would highly recommend. So the evening between 6.30 to 8.30, there's like a games night party. So we start off by doing icebreakers and you introduce yourself to everyone else, play some games. Yeah, and so actually I ran into a few girls that I knew from math camp competitions, which was pretty cool to see them again. And there are a lot of different stations where you can sort of do puzzles, do building, origami, you can play set. Everyone there is insanely good. I even ran into Dr. Potion Law, who is the head of the U.S. National Math Olympia team. So then the next day is Saturday, the day of the actual competition. So you register in the morning before 9 a.m. And you have to bring your ID so they confirm that you are you. And then you enter into the lecture hall, which is where the competition is. So here is a photo of the exam book. And it looks a bit intimidating, but two and a half hours of this fly by as you submerge yourself in some very difficult math problems. A few things to let you know. The test actually has four versions. They all have the same questions, but they're scrambled in different order. Secondly, just to bear in mind that the questions are extremely difficult. So they actually, the winner of the entire competition only got 14 out of 20 questions right. So you can get 10 out of 20, like 50%, it's already one of the top scores. You'll make top 50. So one of the great things is about these challenges is that it's not about getting a perfect score. It's about doing the best that you can do and trying to beat everyone else. Yeah. Woo! So the test ended at around noon and we walked to lunch, which was sponsored by the organization. And everyone gathered around frantically comparing their answers. That was just so at 1.30 p.m., everyone gathered at the Kresge Auditorium for the award ceremony. I am attaching the schedule for the event so you can see what the program is like. And of course, there are lots of interesting speeches. And of course, they kept the result announcement till the very end to give it some more excitement. This is the moment the winner of the competition was announced. The award finished around 4 p.m. on Sunday, so the whole event lasted just over 24 hours. So I hope by now you have a better understanding of what it's like to attend Math Prize for Girls. Just remember one thing, being there with the top girls in the country is a great honor. So I hope you'll enjoy the experience. It was a great opportunity to meet other like-minded girls, listening to interesting talks while doing some challenging math problems. If you get in, be sure to go. Thanks for listening.